Woody Woodpecker was enjoying his pizza when he was suddenly interrupted by noises. He later discovers that online celebrity Kyler takes his posse into the forest for an online dare. Kyler is convinced that he can handle a survival challenge in the middle of a forest when Woody barges in on their camp out of nowhere. He assaults Kyler, destroys his tent, and dismantles their camp, much to Woody's enjoyment. After hearing about the incident, Ranger Walters talks to Woody to call out his recent shenanigans that brought about a bad reputation for the park. He explains how everyone is working together to make this place comfortable, except for him, who continues to be mischievous. Ranger Walters claims he is tired of making up excuses for his behavior and kicks him out of the park after the animals signed a petition to banish him. Until he proves to them that he is a team player, he is no longer welcome at the park. Furious for abruptly being kicked out of his home, Woody wonders where he could learn teamwork when he finds himself in front of Camp Woo Hoo and later befriends Maggie. Maggie explains that teamwork is a big part of a steam camp, short for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Curious if there's something he can show for being a team player, Maggie explains that campers get team badges at the end of every summer if they do every activity at camp. Woody decides to leave, claiming it sounds like too much work, but suddenly changes his mind when Maggie tells him it is time for lunch. Woody was thrilled to find all manner of food at the mess hall. Angie, Maggie's mom, shows up and reminds her not to bring animals inside, especially when the park inspector is dropping in to check on things. She tells Maggie to prepare for the wilderness games, claiming that this year would be different. Woody asks her what the deal is with the wilderness games that he overheard them talking about. Maggie explains that it's a lame tradition where they compete in many games with another camp, which they always lose. Woody later trespasses over to the other side, to which Maggie quickly calls him to come back, but she trips instead. She explains how they have been in rivalry with Camp Hoorah ever since. Just after their quick confrontation with Camp Hoorah's owner, Zane, Angie starts panicking when Wally, the inspector, shows up early. Wally claims he is there to ensure everything is up to code so she won't lose her license. Before she leaves, Angie begs Maggie to keep Woody in control. Woody focuses on Zane instead, but Maggie claims he can't do anything about it as their rivalry has continued for generations. Although Camp Woohoo and Hoorah are divided now, they share one similarity, the founder, Obadiah Mallard. She tells him that Mallard was once a prospector who came here in search of fortune back during the gold rush. He struck riches and bought some land, later naming it Camp Obadiah. By the time his two sons could join him, he died, and the rest of the gold was never found. Unfortunately, his two sons were in constant disagreement, unable to decide what to do with the land. One was a soldier, while the other was an artist. They later decided to split the land, which currently is Camps Woo Hoo and Hoo Ra. Maggie later introduces Woody to the rest of Camp. JJ is the gamer goddess who designs state-of-the-art video games. Gus is the do-it-yourself mech mastermind. Orson is the human computer because he is a genius when it comes to math. Rose is the aspiring writer who has never found anyone brave enough to read her works. And finally, Mikey is the resident nature expert. Meanwhile, at Camp Hoorah, Zane meets with Buzz Buzzard, a self-proclaimed jack-of-all-trades. He explains the company has sent him to replace their old chef, supposedly having won an all-expense-paid trip to Palm Springs. He later convinces Zane to buy Camp Woo Hoo once their camp is forced to close. After Zane leaves, Buzz talks to someone over the phone who has been scheming to get both parts of the land so they can dig out Obadiah's gold without interference. Later, Zane confronts him when boxes are delivered to camp under his name, which Buzz explains are new food items he was trying out. Later that night, Angie talks to Maggie and the others about how it would take more than 24 hours to fix everything before Wally completes his final inspection. She blames Woody for their predicament, to which he claims he only needed a team badge and that he could be on his way out. Angie refuses to give him a handout and tells them they would need to earn their badges. 
Worried that Woody would only make it worse, Angie tells them they will be training for the upcoming Wilderness Games with Woody. Angie claims she understood why they'd rather spend their time in the rec room than outside, but she reminds them that they can't hide from bullies their entire lives. The next day, Maggie and the others start with the obstacle course, which everyone pathetically struggles to finish. Meanwhile, Buzz sneaks into Camp Woohoo to sabotage their inspection. One time, he bought some Brazilian fire ants, but as he was about to fire them at camp, Woody threw a tire and he shot himself with it instead. When he tries to tear down the building's foundation with a weapons-grade magnet, he botches it and brings the roof on top of him. He even tried to contaminate their side of the lake with some raw sewage vat, but inhaled all of it. Buzz reports back to his contact about how Woody keeps inadvertently obstructed by his plans. His contact suggests tricking Woody into damaging the camp without his knowledge. Later, Buzz sneaks back into Camp Woohoo and lures Woody into the rec room. He quickly recognized him as the predator suspiciously lurking by the lake. Buzz starts wrecking the room and provoking Woody to fight back. It didn't take long for Woody to do all sorts of damage, which Angie and Wally witnessed. With the rec room demolished, Wally revokes Angie's license, forcing her to close the camp. Realizing the damage and the trouble he has brought, Woody tries to convince Wally otherwise. Zane and his campers show up, having overheard their conversation. When Angie is about to give in, Woody speaks up and convinces them to settle their differences in the upcoming Wilderness Games. Maggie claims that if they manage to beat Camp Hoorah, who claims to be the best of the best, it would be enough proof that they deserve to be there. Although initially reluctant, Zane agrees to the wager, and everyone goes to make preparations. The day of the Wilderness Games has finally arrived, and they start with a canoe race. Although determined to win, Camp Woohoo remained uncoordinated, and they kept going in circles while Camp Hoo Ra had already finished the race. At the wheelbarrow relay, Maggie and the others tripped while Camp Hoo Ra has already crossed the finish line. In the third event, arm wrestling, Camp Hoo Ra defeated Camp Woohoo without resistance as they toppled their enemies simultaneously. At the obstacle course, Camp Woohoo resigned to their fate after how Camp Hoo Ross splendidly finished the race at top speed. Maggie convinces JJ to think of the obstacle course as a video game and how she'd skillfully complete the course, befitting her reputation as the gamer goddess. JJ listened to her advice and looked at how she would have done when playing a game. She cleared it with the best time and earned Camp Woohoo's first point, much to everyone's shock. Having taken the monumental first step with their first win ever, Maggie and the others celebrate with a food fight instigated by Woody. Next up is Orson at the Ride the Boar event. After a spectacular performance from Camp Hoorah, Orson worries that he'd quickly lose. Maggie tells him to approach it with math, considering what angle does best. After doing his quick calculations, Orson is ready for the challenge. Having lasted 30 minutes, Camp Woohoo wins their second point in the Wilderness Games. At the Launch Potato event, Gus uses his expertise in blowing stuff up to earn another point for Camp Woohoo. Buzz worries that he may have to interfere with how things are going. Although Camp Hoo-Ra is physically stronger, Camp Woohoo is using its skills to overcome its lack of strength and win the games. Mikey is up next for the wall climbing event, but when he starts to worry about it, Maggie talks him into thinking like a bird, being the foremost expert in all things bird. He quickly climbed up the wall, imagining it to be a huge tree, and he was a bird trying to reach the top. He would have won if not for Buzz, who sabotaged it with grease, unbeknownst to everyone. Before the crowd arrives for the pie eating contest, Buzz interferes again by injecting hot sauce into the pies that Camp Woohoo was assigned. When they were about to dig in, Woody couldn't control himself and swooped in to eat all the pies. His actions disqualified his team, giving the point to Camp Hoorah. The last event for the day is the Ghost Storytelling Competition, in which Rose represents Camp Woohoo. She is initially hesitant and scared of such a huge crowd, but Maggie convinces her to imagine the others with their faces on. 
Her knack for scary stories scared everyone witless that night, winning a point for Camp Woohoo. With only a one-point difference, Maggie and the others believe that winning the last event, Capture the Flag, will make them winners of the Wilderness Games. Woody awards the team with stolen candy for a job well done when Angie shows up bringing pizza for everyone. Maggie notices that Woody is acting unusual, so she talks to him and claims that no matter what happens, she believes Woody should get his badge. Woody walks out, unsure of his feelings. He later sees Buzz and gets furious when he is reminded of how he was manipulated. He sneaks inside to get some food when he overhears him talking over the phone about how he has secured Camp Hoorah's victory. He later gives himself away when he knocks some pans over, which causes Buzz to trap him in the walk-in freezer. The next day, Maggie and the others worry that Woody is missing for their last event. Although excited about the event, they were later shocked to discover that the so-called fortress everyone had worked so hard for was in pieces. While taking a quick break to gather their thoughts, the delivery guy opens the freezer and frees Woody. He found it suspicious and reported it to Buzz, who quickly returned to the kitchen to stop Woody from escaping. Meanwhile, Maggie grows frustrated at how she was the only one who didn't contribute to their win. Angie stops her and tells her that she is a critical team member, leading them to focus on their strengths to win the games. The others tell Maggie that she helped them improve at what they do, as a leader should. Hearing them consider her their leader, Maggie tells Wally that the game is on. Maggie comes up with a surefire plan to win. Mikey will first distract the enemy while Rose, lying down covered with leaves, will sneak up from behind to tag them out. Gus will set up a trap for when the next wave hits, while JJ and Orson will confuse the enemy with depth tricks long enough to tag them out. With everyone else captured, Maggie sneaks into Camp Hoorah's fortress to lure out the last defender while the rest of Camp Woohoo rush to capture the enemy flag. As they are about to finish the game, Maggie sees a flare from a distance, which she suspects Woody must be in danger. Buzz gets distracted when Maggie and the others arrive, giving Woody time to tie him to the table. Angie and Zane arrive to check what happened, and Woody explains that they have just foiled Buzz's evil plan. He describes how Buzz destroyed Camp Woohoo's fortress so they'd lose the game and their camp. Zane would buy the land, and Buzz would then blackmail him into giving both camps. He explains how Zane has been signing for illegal stuff, which Buzz would use to blackmail him, all to get Obadiah's gold. Using Buzz's map to combine with Camp Woohoo and Camp Hoorah's maps, they figure out where the gold is supposedly buried beneath Obadiah's statue. While they were talking, Buzz cut himself free and trapped them inside the building after he retrofitted it with military-grade blast doors. Trying to figure out how to get out, Maggie finds the chimney is still open. Gus suggests propelling Woody into the air with the fire extinguisher so he can get out and get help. Once outside, he breaks them out, and they find Buzz trying to escape with the treasure chest on a helicopter. Woody quickly flies to distract Buzz while the others try to hold on to the chest. Maggie gets stuck to the chest, and the helicopter flies higher. Woody flies to Maggie to break her free, and Zane catches her. Woody gets knocked out when the treasure chest hits his head. When he regains consciousness, Woody feels bad for playing a part in Camp Woohoo closing. When he pecked on Obadiah's statue, they discovered it was made of gold, while Buzz and his friend Darren found that they had a chest full of rocks. After much contemplation, Angie and Zane combined their camps to build one big camp, later renamed Camp Woohoo Ra. With summer ending, Angie then awards Woody with a team badge for his help. Before he leaves, Woody shows Maggie a life-size catapult, reminding her of the first time they met when she was carving a catapult. Woody claims he asked the others for help to make this one. Before they send him on his way, Maggie gives him one last hug, and he then flies back to the park. Ranger Walters wondered why he returned, to which Woody presented him the team badge he earned at camp. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment about what you thought and please check out these other videos. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell to be notified about our latest videos. See you next time.